Hey everybody, Kent Beerly live. Let me close Pure Focus Sports Club. I was supposed to be home at 7 o'clock to take my wife to Wegmans. Honey, I'm going to be late because it's 5 of them. But this will be quick. I haven't talked to you guys in a while well, besides my uh, exercise of the day videos. I wanted to give you a little recap of what's going on, a little vlog. I guess this is vlog number two. So I'm going to throw a bunch of couple different things in there because who am I to stay to one topic? Because I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, well, let me talk about my prep. My follow my dream to get my IFBB Pro card. That's right. I'm competing in the NPC. That's right. There's some people out there that still don't understand. Well, it, at this point, at this point, it really doesn't matter. The bottom line is, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if people say I should do it or not. I, I could care less. You can't convince me. You can't critique me. You can critique my shows. You can critique everything else. But you cannot critique me for making a decision to do what I'm doing. Uh, maybe I should bring it up. I, I'm, I'm debating, debating. But I got to tell you. I'm tired of people critiquing my shows. I'm tired of people telling me what we do wrong. When they never come to my shows, they're never there. They've never seen an AMBF show. Never. Come to a show. See what it's all about before, before you give critique. And there's a lot of you out there. There's not just one person. There's not just two people. Yeah, are we, the, are we the coveted... Yeah, I gotta admit, the OCB kicks our ass. Okay? I admit it. Joe Franco pulls the numbers. He's got 150-something people this coming weekend. A week later, I mean, it, it sucks that it's the week before my show when it's normally in April. I'll be frank about that. But, and I'll be very truthful, it sucks that it's the week before my show. Because he usually has it in April. So I don't know, scheduling conflict or what... We usually are pretty, pretty coordinated with when we have our shows because a lot of people don't want to do them back to back. And let's be honest, we pull from the same pool of people because there really isn't many natural bodybuilders around or natural anybody anymore. But good for him, 150 people. I'll probably go and I, you know, I'll go and I'll see everybody and I'll talk to everybody and I'll have a good time. I'll... But I will admit it does suck that it's a week before my show. And the NPC show. The Mid-Atlantic, natural, natural, is a week before my show. I'm used to that because it, it wasn't even on the schedule until like a month, two months ago. I don't know. It's, but, so, but people talk about the AMBF. AMBF. Okay, we're an organization. We have, we have fun. We have a good time. Are we new at it? Yeah, sure we're new at it. I mean, I, you know, me, Mark, Greg, John, you know, Katie, MJ, Joy. We try to do the, we try to put on good shows. We want people to come and enjoy themselves. Did we promote as much as we should? I don't know. I think we're trying to promote as, mu as much as we can. I, I, of course, there's other avenues of doing it. But we also don't have the funds because we're not, we don't have 100 people in a show. But I can guarantee you, we will, within two years, we will have 100 people on our shows. Not all of them, but the larger ones that have been around. But that's regardless. But please, I, refu I, I refuse, I refuse to accept any criticism of the AMBF. Any criticism. This is twice now this has happened. If you have not come to my show, if you do not come to an AMBF show, you have no right, no right, to critique us and tell us where what we do right and what we do wrong. If you don't come, that's just, that just doesn't make sense to me. Come feel the environment. Feel what goes on. Feel the people that are there. Talk to the people that are there. You'll understand. People enjoy themselves. 
Now, do we have sometimes, obviously, in Roanoke, we had a controversial decision, which really to the judges, it wasn't a unanimous decision, but it was an issue. So, yeah, that's bodybuilding. Shit happens. The guy that, that everybody thinks should win or the guy who's got the most friends there doesn't always win. But you know what? To the guy in the back row or to somebody that watches it on video, because it's, it's not the best lighting, I admit, it's not, it looks the other way. But from where we sat in the judges table, it was clear. So, I mean, we could sit around and cry. We could sit around and moan. We could sit around and bitch all we want. The bottom line is, it's over. The show's done. You know, the only person that's not upset about this is the guy himself. He knows. He understands. He's ready to move on. He's ready to kick some butt when he comes back. He is one big mother effer. And he's an awesome guy. And he's trained by an awesome guy. He's coached by an awesome guy. So, if he can get by and he can understand, and he shook his head, I shook his hand and I talked to him, and he said, you know, you're right, I understand. So get on, move on. But back to my, here I am with tangents. Back to my other point, stop. Stop critiquing the A and B F when you have not been to a show. It's not like it's not possible. We're only an hour and 15 minutes away from where you live. Now, I don't have to mention names, do I? Come, be my guest. You can cover it firsthand. Trying to do something positive. But people always got to nitpick. People always got to have their comments. Fine. It's whatever. Everybody's got the answers. So, my vlog, back to that. June 21st. I guess I got... What, I don't even know what today is. I got three weeks, four, six weeks. No. What's today anyway? I got seven weeks. I think that until June 21st. Seven weeks. Until I go for my, I mean, that's my first NPC show, Tracy Greenman show in Philly. That's my first show back. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to get on stage. I haven't competed since last November. It's a long time for me. Normally, I, by now, I've done six, seven shows. My weight was a good drop last week. I was away last weekend, so I wasn't able to weigh myself. I was also away this weekend for the morning. But my weight was around 181 last week, so I dropped where I wanted to be. I'm hoping this week to crack the 180 mark, because that means I'm showtime is within five weeks. I mean, obviously, the, my real goal, I am going to try to qualify for the Nationals so I can do the Open class at the Team U. And then also, of course, the big goal is the Over 50 class. Now, they don't break it up into uh, weight classes at the Team U, not in the over 50 class. So I could be going against all big guys, which is okay because hopefully if I win the old, my class at the Masters Nationals, I have to go against those guys anyway. So these next two shows are a good test. But the one, the big circle on uh, my calendar is July 17th out in Pittsburgh. Things are going good. Kind of backed up my cardio a little bit. I went back to an hour a day, as I was doing an hour and 20 minutes, backed it down to an hour, see where I'm at. My muscle test is fueling me good. My American muscle, my American muscle, muscle test, that stuff, I swear by it. You guys should try it if you feel like you have a testosterone issue. Um, my buddy Mark at MTS supplying me with some good clash and fuel. I got some new... I got the peanut butter protein and the cookies and cream. This stuff is great. And I love that Alpha Amino from Cellucor. My buddy Peter hooking me up, hand delivering my, my, my order. I'm gonna have to order more just to get him to come work out with me. Right, Pete? You sneak in when I'm away. That was a good trick. So yeah, everything's going good. My shoulder's coming around. We had a good shoulder workout yesterday. Me and my cameraman, Brian, at uh, Best Fitness up in Schenectady. That show was nice. His best turnout for that show in that area, 75 people. So kudos to Michael Halsey. 
It was under the DFAC sanction. I wish it was an AMBF sanction, Michael. But you'll come around one of these days. But yeah, it was good to see everybody. I mean, a lot of my buddies up there. It was great that I went. We drove up in the morning, me and Brian. Drove up in the morning. Three hours, had to stop every hour to pee. I, I just can't, I'm, I'm old, what can I say? I drink so much water, you know, you, you guys know how it is. Show was over, left around 9.30, got home around 1.15. My cheat meal, we stopped to go to a Quiznos on the way home, it was closed. The only thing open was a Roy Rogers. I haven't had Roy Rogers in like 20 years. And I know why now, because it sucked. I don't even know what I ate. The best part about it was I had an ice cream sandwich. And then when I got home, my lovely wife had a, one of those double serving bags of peanut M&Ms. They were good. And I, if I would have looked, I would have seen that she had ice cream in the freezer for me. But you know what? I think I'm gonna have to eat it tonight. <laughs> I've been a good boy today, so I'm gonna wolf down that ice cream. Cause now it's almost it's time to get business. Time to get down to business. All right, so. So everything's going good. Had a boot camp t class today, 20 people. I kicked their ass outside. I had them do hills, flipping tires. I hope they all come back. Because I'm going to get them again. So it's after 7. My wife's probably wondering where I am. But that's my vlog. And You know, I just have one. I've seen a few shows. You know, it's hard enough to judge these shows within the divisions and the guidelines and stuff. I, it's one thing that, that drives me cuckoo. And I'm starting to see it more and more. If you're a physique competitor, say, let's say a guy, right? For some reason, you're picking physique because you don't want to be a bodybuilder. But then you go out and you do your stage walk and you do bodybuilding poses. So I, I got a question. I, I'm questioning that. With all, with, you guys are missing the boat. I know you like the board shorts, they're cool, they're, they're, but you know what? DFAC yesterday, you had to have tights or, or short shorts or booty shorts or some kind of shorts. You had to have shorts that actually showed your legs. So if, if you were doing big, fig, physique because you had no legs, you can't hide from the DFAC anymore. And we were thinking about doing that same thing last year. So we might follow suit and do the same thing. So... But if you're gonna do bodybuilding poses during your physique walk, then do bodybuilding. There were six guys in the open class just saying bodybuilding. Well, come on. And like 12 physique guys. Some of you guys were great, but some of you guys would have been great in, in bodybuilding. There was one guy, he was freaking had striations upon striations upon striations. Like, it was like I would have cut my finger on his leg. He had abs, was cut like as deep as I can't even, can't even tell you. So, come on, physique guys. Just don't give up on bodybuilding. Get your butts out there. You guys want to flex and get your ass on the bodybuilding stage. I don't see the fascination. I mean, I like physique if it's done right, but I see too many guys in physique that should be in bodybuilding. I mean, crossover if they let you to. I mean, we let you do in the A and BF. We got pretty liberal crossover things now. We want people to be comfortable in whatever class they're doing. Final thing. Figure girls. What's happened to the figure girls? There are no figure girls anymore. They're all bikini. Now, everybody knows I love bikini girls. But, I mean, come on. We don't have to have 20 bikini girls and 5 figure girls. Or you know, I've seen all different numbers. I have 55 seconds. Alright. We got figure girls doing their walks and doing physique poses. Okay, well, if you want to pose, then do physique. Physique's cool. The women's physique is very cool. So do that. If you want to flex, then flex. If you want to prance and pose, then do figure. I respect your, your decision to choose whatever category you want, but pick it. And if you're in a figure class, then you figure pose. If you're in a physique class, you physique pose. If you're a bodybuilder, then you, you can see a bodybuilder doing a physique pose. Uh-uh. All right, that's it. Kent Bailey Live, Pure Focus Sports Club. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my page and tell your friends.
Camp Early. Stay focused.